good morning from Lake Orid, North Macedonia. Last night we actually had the best food at Liquid. Highly recommend it. The burgers there are incredible. The draft beer is very, very good. I think tonight we'll be back there for food again. But we are heading out of Orid. Well, we're traveling around Lake Orid today. Normally it will be something that you can do by boat, but obviously the boat tours aren't running at the moment um, to St. Norm. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the bus there. So we're gonna check out the monastery. There's some fresh water springs and some good food on the lake. It should be a very, very good day. First things first, Birek. I'm not actually too sure where we're gonna get the bus from. It is a real shame because there's a lack of tourists because of coronavirus, obviously. The boat tours aren't running, and the boat tours actually take you to a few places, like the Bay of Bones Museum, which we're not going to be able to see because we're going to have to get the bus, um, and a couple of other towns around the lake. So we prioritised the monastery and the freshwater springs, as it looks like there's two things that we can do in one, and a good place to get lunch. Found the bus stop. It's the other side of the road to where we got it when we went to Struga, but we're actually hoping for a group taxi. So whether or not a taxi drives past and bibs at us, I think if we in. walk to the bus stop and wait at the bus stop, someone might ask us. I'm hoping that someone asks us and there's another people going to St. Norm, but who knows. So it's actually much easier than you expect. When you get to the bus stop, there are taxi drivers just waiting and they will offer you the same price as the bus ticket, which is 150 dinar each. Um, and I'm assuming someone else will jump in They'll along the way. They'll just hope to get as many people on the way as, as possible. possible. <laughs> <laughs> Our taxi driver has been nice enough as he's dropped off a lot of the people that were sharing our taxi and we've stopped off quickly at the Bay of Bones Museum. You can see it down here. This is one of the main sights to see in Lake Orid. But we don't have time. It looks a bit crazy to be fair. I love the fact that it's on stilts onto the lake. Mm -hmm. it it's showing really the old nice. village. It's, yeah. it's, it's really nice, but we need to get back in the taxi. We do. And we have made it to the monastery of St. Norm. Our taxi driver was the nicest guy ever. He wanted to show us everything on the way. He actually stopped off at a bunker that had an incredible viewpoint. And I didn't know that there were bunkers um, in North Macedonia as well. Obviously built during the communist era, but it's brilliant. He's now parked up over there waiting for the next group of people. And he'll just pick up and drop people off. The taxis basically work as buses out here. I'd highly recommend get a taxi rather than waiting for the bus because the taxis that you might think at first that it's like not, not legit, but it is, it's the same price as a bus, but it's good for them because they can just keep picking up and dropping people off along the way and end up making more money than just dropping one person. This is such a huge complex. There's a huge hotel and restaurant here. You have the springs there, which we will see in a bit, and all the way along there are restaurants, but some of them are actually closed. The majority are, aren't they? Well, it's yeah, things. there's a lot of souvenir shops as well, but again, the majority of them are closed. But good thing is, St. Norm Church is just behind us, it's open. and it's open. <laughs> We have made it to St. Norm Monastery. This is crazy. It is, I can't believe it's still standing today. Um, it was originally built actually on this exact place back in 910, which is so long ago. Um, and then obviously it was rebuilt in the 16th century. And that is what we are looking at today, a 16th century monastery, which is crazy. The views behind me are unbelievable. On one side, you can see Pogradets in Albania. And on the other side, you can see all across the lake. It is just so beautiful. There's actually signs here everywhere about these little guys, the peacocks. And the signs say, right, don't go too near. They attack, I've never heard of a peacock attacking a person before. I presume it's St. Norm, it's a common thing that the peacocks keep attacking little children.
are about to go in the monastery and you can come outside first, you can light a candle, but when you go in, it costs a hundred then to get in, but we can't film inside. So we'll see you back out here. And we are out. You don't actually need too long in there. Um, legend says, because St. Norm was buried in the monastery, that if you put your ear to the coffin, then you can actually hear his heartbeat. However, tour guides and most people would say that that is just the waves of the lake underneath crashing on the rocks. Um, I didn't hear anything though. You didn't need too long really in there to be fair. It's actually a really small monastery. From the pictures now, I expect it to be really big. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than I thought, but the grounds here are lovely. Um, we're gonna head out now and check out the springs, which is just outside of the monastery. We found a restaurant that looks really nice there. And I think you can get, get on like a small little raft boat and I'll do a tour of the springs. So fingers crossed that's operating because we're like the only tourists here at the moment. <laughs> you can see down here at the lakefront, this is where all the boats from the boat strips would come and pull in. But at the moment, there is only two here and one of them they're doing work on. Why is it wherever we go, we always find beer? This is actually the only restaurant or bar that is open on the whole, hold on, mm. whole complex, and that is Ostrovo. Thankfully, it's probably the best restaurant here by a mile. It sits on the springs of St. Norm, and it is beautiful. You can actually take a boat out on here, onto the springs, which we're gonna do after our beer. But yeah, this is apparently more of a reason to come here than the monastery itself. It is so nice. beer drunk what a location to have your beer we're now gonna go further along uh, and jump on the boat to do a little tour of the springs but look there's so much land here amazing restaurant wish we had time for lunch because it is very very traditional but you ready you excited? how exciting is this it's amazing Hi. hey welcome thank you wow we're gonna have one left one right for the balance <laughs> i think i'll wait down one <laughs> We actually swimming here. Wow. In winter. In the winter. Oh. In the winter yeah, uh, because here the water, the temperature of the water is uh, 10 degrees. Oh, wow. oh, so throughout, throughout the whole year. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. so the temperature doesn't change. Remains the same. Yeah. And Thank we you. are off. This is unreal. It is so, so pretty. Um, so the lake actually comes from Lake Crespa and flows into the river Drin, right? Drin. Yeah. Drim. Yeah, Drim Drin. Drin. Black Gold Drin. Black Drin. Um, it's so, so pretty. Like the different types of vegetation show different colours on the top of the lake. Like it's blue, greens, and it's just so sparkly. 12 metres depth. Oh. And the colour is so clear. Yeah, it is. you come to St. I think it's Mary's Church. They yeah. call it the Mother of Jesus. Um, we've already been inside and it's very beautiful. There is springs that run underneath the church mm -hmm. and inside they make a three springs and coming in. the pictures in, on the wall. Make a cross. They're recently the painted. pictures on the wall are recently painted. They look really, really nice. It's just very, it's just very nice to yeah, see this. It's a lovely little spot to stop at at the end of the spring. And you can see the spring runs along here. There's actually 38, but we're getting back on our boat. We're actually coming past the deepest point of the lake now and for some reason the deepest point is also like the clearest point. Crystal clear turquoise water and you can actually see at some points it looks like water bubbles coming up but it's actually the water coming from under the mountain into the spring here. 
That was so much fun there at Ostrovo and on the springs. Ostrovo, we actually found out, means island in Macedonia. And it is an island because the restaurant is located on an island. Um, highly recommend it. I think personally the springs is a better site than the monastery, but combine the two, they're next to each other. Definitely do them both. Uh, make sure you go to Ostrovo for a beer at least, but definitely take the boat out. We're actually really lucky when we came out, the same share taxi as we got earlier has taken us back. Them share taxis are incredible. The UK, we need to get share taxis. It makes the price so affordable. It's better than a bus. Well, same price as a bus for a taxi. So, so good, but we've come back. We are back in liquid where we went last night. It's a bit earlier today. It's about five o'clock, but we haven't had lunch because I'll save myself for the burger here and the beer. <laughs> Is incredible they do draft pints the first draft pint we found in macedonia wow these burgers look insane we know they're insane We've we had do them. they look unreal we had them yesterday and they were the best this place is so nice it's like a boutique bar and restaurant overlooking the lake it's a look little bit cold sunset now. last sunset a last sunset it's a bit cold down though it but is it is our last sunset in lake orid we are moving somewhere new tomorrow we're heading to batola Unexplored, we're quite excited. Yeah, unexplored, so we will cheers. Cheers. Great point. <laughs> we'll see and you great in Batona tomorrow.